today's we will talk about the database security specifically postgresql security so it's all about database security it's not about all database security so about is a tricky word here because we just because in 20 minutes we will just learn what is database security because if it's all database security so it will be a much longer session for that so my name is ibrahim ahmed i am a principal engineer at percona so i have uh, in software it's most more than 22 years now so the today's agenda is we will talk about the database security what is a database security so we have to think about that when we are talking about the security a different kind of security but specifically when we are talking about the database security what kind of things we have to keep in mind that what is required and what uh, process we have to take to ensure that database is secure then we will i discuss about the uh, aaa that is authentication authorization and an accounting and then the uh, major part is that is the encryption and then uh, some tips uh, about the security back, best practices then we have a 5 minute question answer session so database security so whenever you think about the security it's it's about the database security is not about the to secure your database so security is like when you are uh, creating a, a pot and uh, fill it with water and you spend a lot of money to create that pot for the water if it has a one hole in it there is no meaning of spending a huge amount of money to creating a pot which has a one small hole so you have to secure your database in all the ways not only the database so first thing you have to secure your network if your network is not secure and your database is secure you can't say your database is secure now so from the network point of view you have to secure your network properly then you have to secure your host if your host your node in which your database is is not secure enough somebody have access to it it can use it so your database also not secure so then your application if your application is badly written and it expose the some security things to the user so how if your database is fully secure but your application is has some kind of a flaws that anybody can ex exploit that so your database is not secure you don't think about that your database is secure in that case so then the data itself so if your data is not secure so i'm telling you that there is a some kind of a thing that you need to secure your data and your database too so i we will discuss that how you secure your specific data within the database even your database is not secure you can even secure your some part of your data and postgresql has some kind of capabilities of doing that so it can be using encryption and it using the authorization scheme so postgresql have that kind of authorization scheme that if your database is open but it can be it can secure your part of your data part of your table so we will discuss that in a later slides so the basic model of uh, security is our triple a actually the authentication the authorization and accounting so what is authentication which user are allowed to access the database authorization what is the user allowed to access authentication you logged in your computer and then which user is allowed to log into your computer that's authentication it's just a simple word which user is allowed to authentic log into your system is a simple thing but it involves different protocols different schemes so later uh, we will discuss that and authorization when you able to log into your computer what kind of access you have on that uh, computer or your database like you have already logged in but do you have an access to which tables which database which objects you have the access to that so that's called authorization and accounting actually it's in database term is accounting with the monitoring so we are accounting that what we have done to database so it's kind of in a monitoring in a database term so three things first the login then 
who can log in the system and what are the privileges that user logged in user have and what that user did to the system. So that's the three things. So authentication. So I tell you that in authentication, user is telling the system that who am I? So, and I have a valid, valid credentials. So the database will authenticate. That's simple. But that simple goes to some complex picture here in PostgreSQL. When we are talking about the PostgreSQL authentication, there are three type of authentication PostgreSQL support. The first one is internal authentication. Like PostgreSQL have implemented a different authentication protocols to authenticate the user. <coughs> like you don't need an external thing to authenticate. Just install PostgreSQL, configure it, like PostgreSQL internal authentication, trust, trust mean, ah, the user, uh, this IP address is trusted. Any user can log into your computer. It's, it's not uh, for everybody. Then reject, which IP address is rejected? So if uh, some authentication request is coming from that IP address, a range of IP address from network, it will, won't allow to log into the system. So then MD5, MD5 is, uh, standard uh, hashing algorithm that you can um, uh, configure it and then you authenticate. And then scam, then you have a certification based authentication. So that's uh, the internal authentication system PostgreSQL provide. So you don't need every time a uh, internal authentication because sometimes you have a uh, operating system and you have different uh, servers are installed on that server. So you want to have an OS authentication. So like if you want that, if somebody is able to log into that computer, he has the capabilities to log into the database also. So you don't need a PostgreSQL internal authentication, then you believe